up world? How you doing? Fine, thanks, says the world. Okay, I'm joking, that's a really bad joke. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a book review. Well, no, not really a book review, like a book video. The first section, um, I'll be recommending two books that have totally changed the way I see life and inspirational stuff man and then my second no the second part of the video will be on books that i'll be reading this month so yes enjoy okay so let's get to the first book the first book is called sorry i'm just looking at my my pad so i can show you the picture so the first book is called this present darkness by Frank E. Peretti. It is a wonderful book. I haven't got it physically with me at the moment because I lent it to my friend because I was like, oh my gosh, you have to read this. Okay, so basically what it's about is, um, it's a story, a fictional story about a community in America, a small town. And basically um, there is this organization who's trying to like take over the school, take over the whole system, and basically brainwash everyone to be bad. And then there's like the church and there's the pastors and the Christians and their responsibility and what they're doing. So why I would say this is a book that you have to get and read is because it opens your eyes to the realm of the spirit. Um, I remember before I prayed to the father, I said, oh, father, um, please reveal to me, you know, what the angels do, who are the angels, what do they look like? And um, I was expecting actually the next morning to wake up and be able to see angels, but that's not how he did it. Um, he brought me this book, um, I think a month or two later. And then, yeah, and how Frank E. Peretti narrates the story is so awesome and wonderful because it's as if he sees um, both the spirit realm with the angels and the demons and the physical realm combined into like one world. But well, we are in one world, but yeah. So he sees both of those things happening. For example, um, there was a scene where a car was like swerving, like was about to crash and the woman inside was going to die. Well, yeah, it was about to die. And then you see a scene where there are angels on top of this car and there are demons on top of this car and the demons trying to knock it down but the angels trying to push it up and it's just like, you know, in the physical it just looks like a car swerving but then in the, in the spiritual it's like stuff happening, there's wars and yeah and if you don't really if you're not really into the whole like um you know you don't really believe in god you don't believe in this whole spiritual realm thing then you should just read it just for you know it's excitement and the adventure and the fighting between the two the two teams so yes that is an awesome book and now i am more aware of angels and demons as a result so it definitely opens your eyes and one last thing it teaches you about prayer because um when the Christians were praying in this book, it gave the angels power, but then if the angels, uh, if the Christians and the saints, the children of God weren't praying, the angels were really weak, and then they had to like strategize and use different strategies to defeat the enemy. So that was um, the first book, which was awesome. And then the second book is a book by Benny Hinn, who's a pastor, called Good Morning Holy Spirit. Um, Oh my gosh, this was an amazing book. Basically, it's pretty obvious in the title what it's about. It's about the Holy Spirit. Um, and he basically talks about his story and his relationship and his walk with the Holy Spirit and what they did together, etc, etc. He talks about prayer, teaches on prayer, teaches about, you know, the role of the Holy Spirit. He teaches on the Trinity. And um, yeah, before I got this book, I got this book when I was like 15, I would say, like some guy at Chinese school who was Christian was like, oh my gosh, you need to read this book. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Because I was going for maths tuition. And so, yeah, before that, um, I just prayed to the Father in the name of Jesus. Um, that was it. I didn't really pay much attention to the Holy Spirit because I just thought, oh, you know, he was just, he just came with the whole package of salvation, you know. Um, but lo and behold, he's actually like, the most important like factor. Well, I don't know what to call cool. That part but he's really really important essential to my walk and um, with God so um, yeah I read this book and then I was just like absolutely gobsmacked like blown blown away by um, Pastor Benny Hinn's relationship with the Holy Spirit I was just like oh my gosh I didn't know you could have such a 
intimate like tight relationship with him it was wonderful so i was reading that and um yeah my hair <laughs> my beautiful sister is directing this video anyway so um yeah if you don't know about the holy spirit and you're like oh my gosh who is who is the holy spirit like, i have no clue then get this book all right um i'll say a quick testimony Basically, I was reading this book on the bus and it came to a page where Pastor Benny Hinn was like, oh, Emma, no, no, not oh, Emma, oh, reader, um, why don't you talk to him now? And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And I was sitting on the 96 bus to school and um, I was thinking, oh, my gosh. And th and then I, and I, the first thing I said to him was, um, I love you, Holy Spirit. And then, bam, immediately, like, the presence of God just totally f like wrapped around me. I could feel the tangible love of God. I got butterflies in my stomach and it was a wonderful, beautiful, amazing experience where you can just feel the tangible love of God. Um, and that was when I first spoke to the Holy Spirit and, you know, paid attention to him. And ever since then, we've been walking hand in hand and it's been, it's been, it's been amazing, amazing. Um, and I was just literally crying on that bus because, you know, when I when when I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost, I'm just like crying my eyes out always. So I was basically crying my eyes out on that bus. So I don't know what the people on the bus must be thinking, but I was crying with joy, which is an amazing thing to do. All right. So those are the two books: Benny Hinn, um, Good Morning Holy Spirit, and Frank E. Pretty's This Present Darkness. But this present is actually a trilogy, but is awesome so yes all right we shall move on to what i'll be reading this month okay so in this month of august i've already read um the alchemist which is in my room so everyone knows what the alchemist looks like anyway by paulo coelho so that was an awesome book i still wanted to chew on those nuggets of wisdom inside and i'll probably do a review after the next book i'll be reading this month is the book called the shack by W. M. Paul Young, um, William P. Young, yes, and I'm so excited to read it because there is a testimony attached to it already, and yeah, I'll share with that with you when I review it. And then lastly, well, second to lastly, um, this book called The Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C. S. Lewis. Um, I got like the picture version because it's awesome. We love pictures. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I've read the ones before. My favourite is the, the Horse and His Boy, which is amazing. I actually have it on my shelf. Um, well, not my shelf. This is my sister's room because um, we painted it. So I thought, what an awesome background. Hello. We painted it. We painted I painted it. it. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> we painted it. So it was it's awesome. Um, this is my favourite book, The Horse and His Boy. It was beautiful. I think it's because there was no movie, so I, I didn't have any like images beforehand to like relate to, which is good. And lastly, I'm going to read it, be reading this book, The Seven Spirits of God, um, by Pastor Chris Oyekilame, who is my pastor. And it talks about the divine secrets to the miraculous. It talks about the seven manifestations of the Holy Spirit. And these two books are definite for every month anyway. Perhaps your reality is London 2012 Olympics. Oh, Rhapsody Realities, which is a daily devotional that I read every day, and Tivo, which is like the teenage version, so I have both, you know, best of both worlds. So, yes, I hope you have all enjoyed, and have a lovely reading month. See you next month. Well, in the reading, in a book video. <laughs> Bye, love you. <laughs>